Hello guys, um, welcome to Legend of Sports. Um, we are going to look at um, Ghana's World Cup group opponent in the World Cup 2022. We know the draw was held uh, just Friday, uh, a few days ago in Doha, Qatar. And um, Ghana is currently paired in a group with um, the likes of Portugal, um, Uruguay, then also Korea Republic. A lot of people are saying Ghana is likely to qualify for the group. Looking at the group that we are in, many are uh, of the view that it is likely that us will be able to sail through from this particular group and qualify to the next stage. There are also others who are, are pessimistic about the nature of, of the group Ghana found itself in. So uh, we are here to take a look at um, how these uh, countries um, are faring currently comparing the likes of um, Portugal, Uruguay, South Korea or Korea Republic. Um, how Ghana will be able to uh, face them in the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. So if today is the first time watching us, you are an ardent subscriber to our channel, kindly uh, like, share and comment. And if you are new, kindly subscribe to the channel as well, Legend of Sports. And so uh, all of us are aware Qatar 2022 um, uh, World Cup will come on later this year, November, December. And a lot of people are saying, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, this will be probably his final World Cup, and the chances that um, the, the 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 player uh, will make a lot of names for himself, uh, Messiah and uh, Ronaldo and his teammates will be joined by uh, Ghana, uh, Uruguay, then also South Korea in Group H, uh, following the draw that was con conducted in Doha on first April. So um, all of us are also aware that Ghana. Uh, who is a, also an African powerhouse qualified by beating Nigeria, uh, while South Korea and uh, their talisman uh, striker Son Heung Min will also look um, to unsettle the perceived bigger footballing uh, heavyweight, just as South Korea did by beating Germany at um, Russia 2018. So um, when you take a look at how these teams uh, will face each other. Uh, Uruguay and South Korea, that will be the first game uh, that will come on or to take place at Educational City Stadium on Thursday, November 24th. Uruguay versus South Korea um, at 8 a.m. Uh, Central European time uh, in Ghana. That will be around 10 a.m. Then also on Thursday, the same Thursday, uh, 24th of November, uh, Portugal will face Ghana. So Ghana first game will be against uh, Portugal um, at uh, Stadium 974. Ghana versus Portugal. That will be the first game on Thursday. That's the first group game uh, for Ghana to be against uh, Portugal. Then subsequently on Monday, November 28th, South Korea will meet Ghana at Education City Stadium. Then also the same Monday, Portugal will face Uruguay at Lozaire Stadium. Uh, that's November 28th. Then the final group game will, uh, will take place on Friday, December 2nd. Friday, December 2nd. Uh, the first, uh, the game, the last group games uh, are uh, South Korea and uh, versus Portugal at Education City Stadium. Then on Friday, December 2nd, Ghana will face Uruguay. This, this is a game that many um, are describing it as um, um, a match of revenge. Uh, this is the game that many are thinking Ghana should revenge against Uruguay. So that game will also take place at Al Janoub Stadium. So these are the games that will take place in the Group H um, draw. So the four teams selected in, into the group will play a round robin format with each nation facing other three group standings are based on points from those uh, three group stages a group stage match uh, three points for a win one for a draw then none for a draw so these are uh, the draw for uh, all the matches and uh, that will be played in group h then also when we take a look at um portugal uh, you know Currently, Portugal is ranked uh, number eight in the world. Uh, that's FIFA ranking. Then on the UEFA, they are ranked six. Uh, on, uh, in the UEFA ranking, they are ranked six. That's in Europe, they are sixth. But in the whole wide world, uh, they are ranked eight. And then their key players are 
um, Cristiano Ronaldo of Manchester United in England and Bruno Fernandes also who plays for Manchester United in England and Bernardo Silva also plays for uh, Manchester City in England. When you come to Ghana, Ghana has had um, an exploit uh, in 2006, 2010, 2014. This will be the, uh, the fourth time Ghana is uh, participating in the World Cup and they are looking forward to make a good account for themselves despite not having as many household names uh, in the current squad compared to the 2010 and 2014 edition players such as um asana mefoda thomas te party and um john gayas mefoda mohammed kudus who will both uh, be stars to keep and i as a tournament approaches so uh, ghana is ranked uh, 60th in the world according to fifa rankings ghana is placed 60th in the world and in africa ghana is, play, uh, is placed uh, 11th um, then also uh, Ghana has made four appearances in the World Cup uh, so that is that is it um, their coach is Otoado and they have key players like Thomas Tepati, Mohamed Kudos, uh, Jordan Ayu uh, and the like so Uruguay also will come into the tournament um, as a two-time uh, World Cup uh, winners they are ranked 13th in the world they are, they are ranked in the common ball uh, rankings and they they've won the World Cup on twice or different occasions and they this will be their uh, 14 uh, they, they've appeared uh, 13 times this will be their 14th time they've qualified for the World Cup and this year alone uh, looking at the games they've played uh, they, they've played in 2022 they've played they've played four games they've won all of them they've lost none they uh, they haven't had any draw and they've scored eight goals they've considered just one and so that's um uruguay for you in 2021 uh, they played they had four wins um five losses they drew six and they scored 11 and considered 16. so last year their performance wasn't that superb their coach is um, diego alonso uh, he has been in charge since 2021 20, december after oscar tabarez um they are veteran uh, manager um handed over to diego alonso they have star players like edison Cavani of manchester united luis suarez of atletico madrid and diego godin of atletico minero in brazil so that is uruguay for you and south korea not since 1982 have uh, south korea failed to appear the world cup uh, and that streak will continue uh, with Paulo Bento's team competing in Qatar. Um, South Korea finished second in the 12th third round qualifying group, beating only in the final fixture with the third with the place in the finals already assured. Prior to that, Benetos, uh, Bento's side went on a seven match winning run, and they will be hoping for a similar momentum ahead of the World Cup, where they will be looking to make it out of the group stage of the first time since 2010 and currently they are ranked 29th in the world third in the asia football confederation um, this will be their 10th time they will be appearing for the world cup and um, 2022 uh, they won f they've won five games they've lost one they've drew none and they scored 14 goals, uh, considered one. In 2021, they played uh, or they won seven games, drew one, uh, drew two, and lost one rather. And they scored 20 goals and considered six. Their coach is um, Paulo Bento of Portugal. And he, he has been in charge of the South Korean side since August 2018. Their star players are Son uh, Huimin of Tottenham in England, Huan He. And Wang Yi Chan of uh, Wolves in England, the Kim Min Jai of Fenerbahce in uh, Turkey. So these are their also star players in the uh, their team. So let's look at how uh, the teams will advance from the World Cup Group H to the round of 16. So after the World Cup draw, um, a lot of people are expecting to hand group offs for each other to advance from the group stage so this is how uh, teams will qualify for the group especially group h that ghana is uh, to the next round which is the round of 16. 
the first place and the second place finishes in group h will move on to the round of 16 then we'll face off against the two teams to advance from uh, group g on monday uh, december 5th and tuesday uh, december 6th so the two teams that will qualify from the group um that's the first and second will qualify to the next stage of the competition which is a round of 16. so that's the uh, group uh, standards or how the groups will fare from qualifying to the next stage of the competition uh, so that's it ghana is in group h with portugal um uruguay and south korea so these are the things that you need to know about the ghana's team um ghana will play a uh, first game against portugal on thursday in november 24th at stadium uh, 974 then the second game ghana will play against south korea at education city stadium which is november 28th then the final group game a uh, final group game the World Cup for ghana uh, will be ghana versus uruguay at our janoub stadium uh, which will be on friday december 2nd so a lot of people are asking a lot of questions ghana's group final group game will be against uruguay i know this game a lot of people are expecting a revenge against uruguay uh counting or coming from the backdrop of what happened in south africa 2010 and i know that a lot of people are asking for a revenge so and uh, that is all for now as time progresses we'll bring you more updates on the blasters preparation for the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Continue to subscribe to our channel and enjoy, like, comment, and share. Let's have your opinion about Ghana's um, group opponent. And uh, what is your view about it? Is Ghana going to qualify from the group stage, which has the likes of Portugal, Uruguay, South Korea in it? Ghana will be will Ghana be able to progress to the next stage of the competition? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Legend of Sports. Thank you.